guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video that's quite different to what I've done before and it's what was in my school bag. Obviously I don't go to school anymore but I can try and remember everything that I used to put in my school bag. Maybe not everything because there was stuff in there like mouldy bananas and god knows what else. Um, all the essentials that I feel you guys need to take to school. So yeah, let's get started. The first one is obviously books, okay? These aren't real school books. These are my work books. These are my channel books, actually. So one for each channel. I don't have school books anymore, um, so I'm having to pretend. But obviously your school books are like, well important because that's why you're going to school. And it's always good to put your school books in first because then if you've put like, other stuff in your bag, and then you just shovel your school books in, you crush everything else that was in your bag. So, um, school books, essential. The next essential is your pencil case. I wish I could show you guys everything that used to be in my pencil case, but unfortunately I can't because now it's all nice and neat on my desk and I really don't want to ruin it because I'm filming this video in a little bit of a rush. So I'm just gonna show you my everyday pencil case. I think, Pencil cases can really define a person. You get the people who have pencil cases that just have a pen, a pencil, and that's it. These are the people that I feel are actually quite creative. Like, they can do what they need to do with a pen and a pencil, and that's literally it. They don't need anything else. They don't need to make their work like all highlighted and stuff like that. I feel those people are really creative. So good on you people with just a pen and a pencil in your pencil case. The other people you get are the people that have everything in their pencil case. And I was one of those people. I had pens, pencils, colors, rulers. I'm trying to think what else. Scissors, sellotape, blue tack. Um, highlighters literally coming out my ears. I had everything in my pencil case. But unfortunately, now I take my pencil case everywhere with me, I've had to whittle it down to this. So in here, I've literally got pens, pencils, highlighters, a rubber, two SD cards, um, a little bit of change, actually. <laughs> yeah, and that's literally it. It's not even like big enough for my ruler. And this is obviously because I take my pencil case everywhere with me. The people who have everything in their pencil case are definitely, I feel, they really like to make their work look pretty. I used to love making my, I spent more time making my work look really pretty than actually doing the work, which wasn't great, <laughs> actually, it was not good. I used to highlight things, I used to color things in, I used to draw like really little pictures, I used to love doing like diagrams and all stuff like that and then I never actually got any of the work done. The next essential item is only an essential item once a week, unless you're taking it for GCSE. I don't have one here to show you guys, but this item is a PE kit. If you forget your PE kit, most schools will make you wear someone else's. Likewise, if you forget your trainers or anything like that, and you don't wanna do that. I mean, unless you have a way to get out of PE, and I understand it, I totally understand people that want to get out of PE. PE just isn't for some people. PE definitely was not for me. I literally couldn't do anything. And I had a lot of people in my year who were very sporty and they loved PE. And I used to like look at them and be like, oh, I wish I could do PE like that, but I couldn't. And I, I just, I was never going to be able to. Um, so I totally get it if people want to get out of PE, but leaving your kit at home is not a way to do that because they will make you wear someone else's or a spare kit. Some schools even make you wear like yellow tracksuit bottoms or something like that so you don't do it again. Um, so definitely remember your PE kit, that's really, really important. If you want to get out of PE, find another way to do it because leaving your PE kit at home is not the way to do it. So the next essential item is makeup bag. In the makeup bag are the items Definitely need powder. Always, always need powder. Brush. Now, a lot of makeup items, girls aren't gonna get away with in school. Like, you won't get away with wearing really thick black eyeliner and caking on foundation in most schools and stuff like that. So there's actually no point in even trying. And I think I might do a video on like cheats to wear makeup without looking like you're wearing makeup, if you know what I mean, for school. 
Um, but yeah, bronzer. What else is in here? A compact mirror. Now, I love this compact mirror because it's a little Apple Mac. And it's really cute. And it only cost me £3 off Amazon, but I just had to have it. Um, mascara. You can get away with a little bit of mascara, I guess. Um, emergency tampons. They are so, so important when you are at school. Trust me. And... Clear lip gloss. Clear lip gloss is just the way to go. There is no point in wearing any other colour lip gloss in school because firstly, you won't get away with it. Secondly, it won't match the fact that you don't really have that much makeup on anywhere else. So just go for a bit of clear lippy and make your lips look voluptuous. Next one is a hairbrush. Now, there would be so many days where I would go to school and forget a hairbrush Literally, I'll be wandering around like, has anyone got a hairbrush? Because my hair looks diabolical. And some, there are some schools where you actually can't wear your hair down at school. I went to, when I went to Sylvia Young's, I wasn't allowed my hair down in school. It had to be up every day. Um, but then I went on to Billericay and I was allowed my hair down. So you definitely, definitely need a hairbrush if you go to a school where your hair is allowed to be down because you get caught in the wind and it's literally like, zoom. The next thing is deodorant. Deodorant is so important in school because you wear so many layers. Like, literally, I used to wear, well, this is when I went, well, actually, both of my schools, I used to wear a shirt, a jumper or a cardigan, and then a blazer. And even your shirt and jumper or cardigan, like, it makes you really, really hot and you don't want to sweat and stuff like that so definitely take deodorant and especially like also in the summer even though you're wearing just a top it's still summer and it's really hot and you don't want to smell in school so deodorant is a must next one i would say is really important is earphones now as you get a little bit older in school you get the luxury in a lot of schools um of listening to your music and stuff while you're working it's a lot of time it is in sixth form but in my old school at sylvia's we were allowed to listen to our earphones literally from year seven and above as long as we didn't take the mic if you know what i mean like we just still did our work so earphones is a must because you never know when you get the opportunity to listen to your music and it's really annoying when everyone is listening to their music and you've got your earphones and you can't um you feel really left out so earphones the next one I would say is money. Now, a lot of people take their own lunches to school and that's what I used to do. But you never know when you're just gonna randomly go out after school with your mates and you wanna get like an ice cream or you wanna get like a Subway or something like that. So you need some money. But don't go spending like all your money on food because that's another thing that I did and now I wish I had all that money left. <sighs> that kind of links in with sweets even though you would take your own packed lunch to school it used to happen to me where i would eat my lunch and then i would still be so hungry and i don't know if it's just because i was like a growing girl at the time or just because i knew i couldn't have food that i wanted it so in the end i used to hide like sweets or something in my bag and i would literally just eat them throughout the day and they kind of kept me going and also like School's quite tiring, you know, you wake up really early in the morning and you do a whole day working and stuff at school. Um, you need your sugar rush, I guess. Well, that's why I always used to say anyway. Obviously, there are only certain schools that allow this item in the school, and that is your phone. So many schools don't allow phones in these days. Um, and I, although I understand why they don't, because they don't want kids just sitting on their phones all day, I do equally think it's important that kids are allowed to take their phones to school because if they get the bus home or if they like walk home or something like that, they need like some sort of means of contact and I think that's really important. So my advice to anyone would be, you know, take your phone to school, but don't use it in school if you're not allowed there's absolutely no point every everyone that you would usually be texting will be at school with you anyway but i would take it just in case you are 
one of those people that do walk home or get the bus home or get the train home. Like I used to go to school all the way in London, right? It was an hour and a half away from where I lived. I had to get a train, a tube, a bus, and then walk a little bit. And if I couldn't have my phone, I don't know how I'd be picked up from the station. I don't like, I don't know anything. And also if anything dangerous happened on the way home, I needed some sort of way to contact my mum and dad or contact the people that I'm with if I lost them or something like that. So I do think it's really important that this isn't me giving you guys, this isn't me telling you guys to break the rules or anything like that. This is me telling you guys to keep yourself safe but also don't break the rules by going on your phone all day every day in school because that's something that I wish I never did to be perfectly honest. So the series part is over now and unfortunately that is the end of the video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy it and I really hope it helps you guys as well like anything other than this I feel will just be a bonus to take to school so Make sure you got all of this stuff and you will be fine at school. Anyone who is starting back at school, I really, really hope you have a good time. And don't forget, I don't want to sound old here, these are really, really good years of your life, so don't waste them. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. In the comments, tell me like some more stuff that you guys would take to school because everyone's different and tweet them to me and stuff like that. So thank you for watching guys and I will see you later. Bye.